The evil within is indeed a world within a world within another realm, one that has even confused not just the characters, but the players who command them. In this video, we'll be going through the history and life of the police detective Sebastian Castellanos, who had single-handedly defeated the STEM system's corrupted forces time in and time out, a man who battled for the truth and for love. This is the story of Detective Sebastian Castellanos. Sebastian's childhood is shrouded in mystery, however what we do know of his life is his career choices and the ones he made in his spare time. So let's delve on into those choices. Sebastian would grow up in Crimson City, the geographical location of this city is currently unknown. However, the concepted country in the development of the game is said to have been Spain. However, this is not confirmed in the game lore. Sebastian would soon leave further education with greater results, allowing him to become a detective constable, which is the starting condition for all detectives. However, it is possible he had worked as an office clerk or an officer prior to becoming a detective. Burying himself in his work, Sebastian would soon surprise his superiors, who would shortly promote him to the rank of detective sergeant, which is the first supervisory position in the police force. This is where he would meet a junior agent going by the name of Myra Hansen. The two of them would hit it off very well, even though they had their differences, both in their ideology and methodology, which had led into strengthening their work by quite the margin, with good synergy and cooperation in the field. The pair would eventually begin dating and take their relationship to the next level. However, the first blow to the relationship would come with Myra becoming injured while working on a case within the field, and she would soon leave the force for a while before returning to work. However, with each strike to their relationship, it would only strengthen their bond further, which would soon lead into their marriage, and Myra would soon be diagnosed with bearing a child. She would soon give birth to the fruit of their passion and love, Lily Castellanos. Sebastian would soon take his savings and buy his family a house, to enjoy their new found happiness. However, like other stories, the happiness that was shared throughout the Castellanos household wouldn't last for very long. Upon coming home one night after work, Sebastian would find himself in every parent's worst nightmare. The house that he had bought and the life he had constructed for his family literally was engulfed in flames right before his eyes. Once Sebastian had concluded that his daughter was trapped in her room, he would try to do what every parent would do. He braved the flames and the smoke that clinged to the walls and ceiling that would flow towards the upper floor. However, he would soon be escorted out by the local authorities to safety. Hoping that the firefighters would find his daughter, he would stay outside, praying that she would be brought out safe and sound. However, Lily would never have been found, and there were no signs of another person or a child being in the household while it was burning. A body was never found. Believing that his daughter had burned to death, his relationship with his wife would quickly fall apart, who had begun to act strangely towards the loss of their daughter, not being able to move past the tragic event. She would soon begin coming up with conspiracy theories, gaining comfort from them, effectively pushing Sebastian out of the door, who would soon leave and once again buries himself in his work. Myra would swiftly disappear after this, leaving Sebastian to mourn and deal with their loss alone, which would cause him to take a turn for the worst as he would soon turn to alcohol to numb the pain in his heart, which would lead into a depression and a void that would eat away at every fibre of his being, leaving his work and drink all he had left, which explains his behaviour in the first instalment of The Evil Within. 
Despite his growing depression, he would excel at his work and his co-workers would be none the wiser concerning his problem with alcohol. However, this would soon change when he would get a new partner after Myra's disappearance, being known as Joseph Oda, who in a short time of working with him would begin to notice the streak Sebastian would leave behind in his stricken grief state when his excessive drinking would occur, leading him into informing internal affairs in an attempt to get him back on the horse, if not for his own life, then for his career. In turn, the case would save his career, however it would put a significant dent into their partnership. Sebastian would return to work shortly after being forced to take a leave of absence. However, he would continue to wear a hip flask, possibly as a reminder of how close he came to losing everything. Sebastian at this time would continue to feel as if he was the catalyst to the tragedies that plagued his life. Shortly after his return, he would be assigned to train a new detective, Julie Kidman. They would soon be assigned to a case that would lead them to the Mental Beacon Hospital, being driven by a fellow officer straight into the events of The Evil Within. In these events, the detectives would find themselves in a mind-warping reality that bared the skin of the real world, with buildings that moved like they had a mind of their own, strange monsters, creatures, and deranged individuals coming to kill them, along with a single entity that appears to have been granted godlike abilities, but they wouldn't be alone in this hell, with other civilians falling into the chaotic environment. Sebastian would battle against these forces, using whatever he could to defeat the forces of Ruvik's mind, attempting to save his colleagues and the two civilians that had fallen into this realm with them. Sebastian would be attacked by Joseph when the corrupting nature of the STEM system proved too much for the detective. However, these effects would come and go, developing with Joseph's resistance to the pulse waves. But Sebastian too would begin to develop these rage occurrences. In an attempt to defend herself, Kidman would shoot him, issuing a non-lethal shot. Eventually, Sebastian would defeat the true form of Ruvik, or so he fought and he would escape the mind-bending reality. And as he woke, Kidman would gesture to him to play dead, as to fool the rest of her colleagues, allowing him to escape Mobius alive. After the events of the evil event, Sebastian would attempt to warn the police department of Mobius, however they would not believe the crazy tale he had spun, and they would deem him to have lost his mind in his grief for his daughter and his wife. Sebastian would soon lose his livelihood, however this would not mark the end for him quite yet. Using what he had learned from his work experiences, he would work for himself, investigating into the works of Mobius in an attempt to locate Kidman. Despite his best efforts, his searches would prove ineffective and the trail would go cold over the next three years of his life. He would soon turn to an old friend or enemy, depending on your perspective, with that being alcohol, and his depression would return with a vengeance, consuming more and more of his life, drinking to numb the pain, to numb the failures he believes to have committed. One night, upon which he would regularly black out, he would be presented with a reoccurring memory of that horrific night that stole his daughter Lily away from his grasp, which had allowed him to progress much further than what had been allowed of him in the previous event. Upon finding her this time, she would utter the words that he wasn't there for her, before she burns them both by exploding into flames that crept up Sebastian's body, smothering him in their embrace before he wakes up from this intrusive nightmare. Sebastian would soon come into contact with Kidman unexpectedly, and she would soon sedate him after he kills two of her agents. He would reawaken inside of a new headquarters of Mobius, coming face to face with the administrator who explains his daughter's fate being the controller of the STEM system, with this being more of a stable core instead of the beacon one. 
While being the operator, Lily had vanished inside of the system and they asked for him to enter STEM once again to find his daughter and bring her back into the real world, with him using his previous experiences. Facing the possibility of coming face to face with his daughter once again, he would accept the challenge and he would enter STEM again. However, he would find that his previous experiences in the Beacon system being supported by Ruvik's mind wouldn't prepare him for free individuals with those godlike abilities. With those being Stefano, Theodore Wallace and his past lover, Myra with the two men hunting Lily so that they could gain complete control over the system, allowing them to rebuild it in their image, and Myra doing whatever it would take to protect Lily, even by harming her father. Using his own initiative, he would defeat all of them, and would find his daughter, allowing for their swift return to the real world, with the help of a calmed Myra. On the other side, Kidman would take down the Mobius guards, and rescues both Lily and Sebastian from the the terminal, who had already awakened from their horror-induced nightmares. With her aid, father and daughter would enter the light of the outside world, leaving Mobius behind, at least for now. The story for former Detective Sebastian Castellanos would end with him and Lily packing up their belongings and loading them into a car. They would then bid their farewell and gratitude to Kidman, who sees them off into the sunset, leaving the city of Crimson behind and hopefully never to fall back into the web of Mobius and the entrapment of Stem. Sebastian at first may seem like a poor character with poor writing and development, however as we peel back the layers to see the shocking history of his personal torment and combined traumas, it is no wonder why he acts the way he does in the series. He has been seen to be a man capable of many great things, always finding ways to accomplish his goals, no matter how big of a challenge they are. Sebastian is indeed in the Hall of Legends for his tenacity in the face of certain doom and destruction, and by defeating the odds not once but twice, and finally gaining his happy ending alongside what had been taken from him so very long ago or more like whom had been taken from him so very long ago. Thank you all very much for watching, if you enjoyed then please hit the like button, comment your thoughts below and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you to all of the Alliance Elite members, your extra mile support helps me out so very much, and if you would like to become a part of the Elite today then please hit the join button located on the channel page or under the video to see which two tiers of exclusive benefits takes your fancy. Sign up to join the British Alliance today by subscribing to the channel and ringing in the notification bell on the channel page to receive all notifications and updates to the channel and I will see all of you among the cosmos and be sure to have a good one.